Hello guys, Northern Lights here here to bring you a reading. How are you guys doing today? See. Oh, this might be empty. Nope. Okay. How are you guys doing? Let's clear these energies. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, I call upon you to protect me while I channel these energies today. I also ask that you keep my collective safe from harm, bless their homes and their loved ones. Amen. Alright guys, so check it out, look what came in. Healing journey cards for masculine and for feminine. So keep your eye out, I'm going to be doing... Uh, a reading for each you know I do the individual divine masculine and divine feminine reads and then I'll also use these in um, combined readings as well I'm super excited for that so keep your eyes open for that because that's going to be very insightful very insightful <clears throat> so let's go ahead and dive in shall we angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. What animal spirit is guiding us today? Ooh. Rhino spirit. Overcome any obstacle. Power through, guys. Keep pushing. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Keep it moving. Okay, show your fortitude. <clears throat> Rhino your way through it. <laughs> okay, let's get a message. Ooh, electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. And the story continues, you guys. Your ideas. Bring them to life. We have dolphin spirit. This and that are true. <laughs> so, spirit says, this is true. It is time to bring your ideas to life. Turn knowledge into wisdom. There's wolf spirit again. Let's read. Electric Eel, number 24. Seemingly out of nowhere, the jolt of Electric Eel Spirit appears to awaken you to a big idea that you are meant to explore. Epiphanies and aha moments are gifted to you right now, so celebrate. Your life has the potential for profound transformation. Inspiration arises in you, electrifying you so that you can't wait to get started bringing your idea to life. The revelations you experience now are meant to set, let me turn the page, are meant to set you on a new path. So do not be afraid to act. Explore, examine, and do not fear the changes that may come, for spirit wants to shower you with the love, success, and abundance that you hope to experience. Now is a thrilling time of epiphanies, inspired ideas, and innovation. This is a wonder, wondrous sign for you today. Yes. Whatever it is that you guys are working on, okay, it's it, bringing it to life. You're bringing it to life. You are. You're feeling inspired. You're feeling excited. You're feeling energized. I love this. I love this. Let's go ahead and grab some wisdoms. Feeling inspired. Yeah, you're doing lots of research, asking lots of questions. 
and that's good. You gotta find out your truths, okay? Ask lots of questions, do your research. Ooh. Yeah, this is present, present moment, here and now. Right now you're hovering between the past and the future. This is the planning phase. This is where you take that step through the door. What else, please, Spirit? Whoa, that's a lot. We're just going to take this one right here because a whole bunch just flipped out and flipped over. I'm not going to take any of that. I'm just going to take the top one, and that is happy, happy. I can feel your energy. My heart feels like it's fluttering. And I can't, I've got this giant grin on my face. Let's get one more. Yeah, look. You're on your way to Treasure Island, baby. Doing your research, asking questions. I love it. I'm actually going to flip these around in the order they came out in. There we go. I love this. I love this. I love this. Whew. I'm feeling excited. Like, like that reading the other day. I, it's hard to breathe. Something good's coming in, you guys. Hard work pays off. Right now, you're focused on your dream and you're ready to bring your ideas to life and you've got some damn good ideas and and if you, you're you're figuring out how you can make money doing it oh yes you are let's go ahead and get a couple of these and loss at the bottom of the deck but standing in your taking control standing in your power okay not letting your heartache and your loss define you that's right you went within okay what does my collective need to see spirit okay we have temptation here That dark energy is still looming, okay? Like I said, it's always going to be around. Keep your vibration high. It, it's always going to be there. And this is the reminder. Okay, what else, please, Spirit? We're just going to keep him over there in the corner where he belongs. Yeah, look. Ace of Cups. Love begins following your heart, doing what you love. Love always wins. Love always outshines hate. What else? Yeah, love always triumphs. That's right, thank you, Spirit. When, when you lead with love, there will be victory. One more. Ooh. Yeah. Intuition. Following your intuition. Keeping an eye on this motherfucker right here. You see? You got... It, it looks like she's looking like right... You know, keeping her third eye right on him. Yeah. Keeping your third eye on this devil energy, this dark energy. This person wants to do nothing but cause you heartache and loss. That's their intention. That's what you don't see coming it's at the bottom of the deck. But you are in control of yourself. You have, you have mastered your emotions. You're, and you are, you have ascended 
and you know to keep your third eye on this motherfucker right here. You're an emperor. You're in your emperor status. This you can be a feminine and still resonate as an emperor because you could be a single a single parent holding it down, doing what you got to do, paying your bills, your rents, your mortgage, uh, doing all the cooking and the cleaning and the laundry, everything. You do it all. Emperor. You have to stand in your masculine energy when you're a single woman and have kids. We do. We, we are in our emperor energy. We are the providers. And so, because you're so strong and you lead with your heart and you use your intuition, all the, you're going to be able to keep this heartache and temptation and dark energy over here at bay. We're going to go ahead and put the emperor right here because this is your current energy. It is. Yeah, you went within to make choices. Leading with your heart, uh, heart overhead decisions, building your spiritual strength up, getting in touch with spirit. Yep. Standing in your truth, Emperor. This person, this is the type of person that will lash out. You are the type of person that goes within. What are we getting? What are we getting, Spirit? Yeah. I want to get some double major on this. You presently are focused on. You're bringing your ideas to life. You are. You're on your way to Treasure Island. Happy, happy. And you're doing the research. And you're leading with your heart. And that's where you're going to be successful. You are. And all this... All this person can do is sit here and watch. And they're going to be sitting in their own shit. <sighs> yeah, look. Closed this cycle out and walked away, you did. Yep, yes you did. <laughs> that shocked the shit out of this person. Okay, let's go ahead and get some energies. Let's talk about it, Spirit. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Self-reflection. Your sword is down, and you are very aware. You go inward. You, you're not, you don't have a problem looking at yourself in the mirror. Okay? Because you, you're okay with what you see. You, live, you, you are honest, and you're intelligent. Okay? You lead with your heart. Okay? You've done plenty of self-reflection. You and you continue to do so. That's how you grow. Being okay with what you see in the mirror. Yeah, being able to look at this, being able to face yourself, hold yourself accountable. Judge yourself, right? Are you okay with what you're, what's looking back at you? If not, work needs to be done. But it looks like, you know, you're doing okay. You're okay with what you see in the mirror. You're fair. You're honest. Diplomatic. Okay. Yeah, look, we have the King of Cups. You have emotional mastery. Leading with the heart. Look at that. There's the hermit. There's that going within energy. See? Yep. You go within and you listen to spirit before you make your decisions. There he is, sitting there at the end of the dock. He gets anywhere he can near water. 
right at the edge of the water out on the dock okay that's how he goes he, this this is how we go in this is how you're going in and finding your answers let's go ahead and get one more yeah look this is the second version of the moon revealing okay <laughs> what's happening is okay this king of cups can repress his feelings okay what's happening is this these feelings are coming up out of the water and running off these dark energies that just be out here talking shit to the moon right people that are out there casting using the moon and spell work trying to cast over you over over what you got going on here it ain't working your vibe is too high okay you're okay with what you see in the mirror so nothing that this person ever tries to expose or uh get you wrapped up in is gonna work because it's not gonna work it will not touch you it will not touch you because they expose themselves they out here in the regular moon card Okay, they out here talking shit, howling at the moon. Oh, look, there it is. Okay, look at them. Howling at the moon, talking shit. It's casting in the in the you know in at nighttime. And you held it back. You repressed your feelings about it. You didn't say shit. Well, what happened was they ended up exposing themselves. Art, 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 art. Running away. What's happening here is whatever this person is up to, they're, they're going to be seen for exactly what they are. And it's going to shock the shit. The, ooh, this is going to shock the world. Okay, whatever world, like your 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 world. This, ooh, this could be an online thing too. Somebody could be out there casting and spreading hate online. And when people see them for who they actually are, it's over. Mm-hmm. That's right. And you're going to come out of this cycle unscathed. There's the strength card. Yeah. Tying that devil up. Now the devil's the one that's bound to their own shit. Yep. Restricted. Restrained. They can't get free from their own fuck shit. You've made peace with yourself. You've healed. You're okay with what you see every day when you look in the mirror. And that's why, okay, look at the difference in this energy. Here's yours. And there's this person. And you're using your intuition. You're keeping your eye on this motherfucker right here. This person hurt them damn selves. They did. By messing with you. They should never have even fucked with you. You, you don't get to mess. You don't get to fuck around with the, with the divine being and not pay for that. Because the divine being has surrendered all of that to spirit and her ancestors, his or her ancestors. And we cannot be held responsible for how our ancestors take up for us. Because when people want to come fuck around in this kind of energy to take you off your path to Treasure Island... 
something that you were called to do by spirit? No. Spirit's not going to allow that. This is this person's energy. Deeply unhappy, obsessive, toxic, codependent, poisonous. This person is rotten down to the core, down to the heart. This person's heart is shriveled up in black. And I feel like this person, the world's about to see this person for exactly who they are. Because they are trying to everything that they can to bring you down. Even if they go down with you. But that's, see that's the thing. Is that you're on a mission here. Sent by spirit. This person's mission is sent by the devil. I feel like using Tarot of the Abyss today. Yeah, look, you're gone. Chariot with the Justice. You left it in the hands of spirit and just flew. You know you'll get, you know karmic justice will be had. So you just left it behind. You did. You just left this person to do whatever they do. Okay. It didn't get a reaction out of you, which is what they wanted. So that failed. And so now they're trying everything they can to take you down. It ain't going to work. All it's going to do is expose this person for what's lying underneath. And I tell you what, this person is not who they say they are. Ooh, I just picked up here. This person could be a reader too. But this person's intentions are not good. This person dabbles in black magic. Knight of Swords. Yeah, look, pissed off, hostile, angry. This is not good energy. Yeah, look, Six of Pentacles reverse. Not generous. This person wants to take, 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 take. This person's an energy vampire. Gaslighter. Yeah, Eight of Wands. They're definitely casting. That's, that's energy coming towards you. But it is in the upright. <clears throat> oh, you could be finding out information about what this person's up to. Just leave it at that, you know. The fool. You're off to a brand new beginning. That's right. Spirit is pushing you away from this person and into, into your into your mission. It's keeping you on your path. That's that eight of wands. Spirit is guiding you. Pushing you forward. Yeah, look at this. King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Worry about your money, lead with your heart. Build solid foundations. Okay, stay grounded. Lead with your heart. You're doing the right thing. This person's not going to be able to sway you. No way. Mm -mm. <clears throat> yeah, look. Ten of cups. Okay, this could be family. Could be a family member. Absolutely. Yeah, look, there's the devil again. Family, toxic family, I'm telling you. This is 100% a toxic family member. Mm 
Yep, Knight of Pentacles. This has been going on for a long time, guys. This has been going on for a long time. Long ass time. You, you're aware now. You're aware now. Definitely a toxic family member. I mean, I, it, it says it right there. Ten of Cups is all about family. Along with the Ten of Pentacles. Both of them are. Yeah, look. The world. This could definitely be something going on online. But it's also you closing out this cycle. Being done. Ooh. Picking up sibling here. Watching. Watching. This person is watching. What's up? Yep, yep, yep. You got the hell on out of there. Because you know karmic justice will be had. This person's going to be seen for exactly who they are. They did it to themselves. This person could have been dumb enough to put it all out online for the world to see yeah yeah just to take your ass down they didn't want you to succeed okay i just heard <laughs> there was a new star a new star popped up in the sky This person got pissed. That's what's bringing that. A new star popped up in the sky. And it be shining bright. And people are noticing it. You could have... Yeah, look, there's a star inside of this hermit's lantern, okay? You're following your north node. You're in your north node. And I keep hearing that rising star. I think a new star popped up in the sky. And what happened was... This person had already been working on something. And then this new star popped up and accomplished what this person had accomplished in a while. It took a while in a matter of days. That's what caused this energy right here to lash out. This is your hater. This is the person that's trying to make life hard for you and, and, and stop and get in the way of your mission in your dreams, your ideas. A star, a, a brand new, a, a new star popped up in the sky, guys. And this person took it as a threat. Boom. And you just let it go, left it behind, because you know that justice will be served. It came up in a reading already. This person done did it to themselves. They hung themselves. They done strung themselves up. Yeah, look at them now. Look at them now. Look at them now. Look. This person is so, is so busy sulking, looking at what you got going on down here. Cause the, and because they can't have this. There's a op there's an offer being brought to them that they don't even they have something that they to offer to the world to work with the divine but this person chooses not to this person chooses to watch what you're doing and cast over you
Now they sitting there looking like poor Boo Boo. <laughs> looking for what? Looking, this is a person that's casting out and waiting and watching. Waiting and watching. Waiting and watching to see if it's going to work. It's not going to work. It's not even going to touch you. Your vibration is too damn high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look. Queen of Wands. You're the go-getter. You're gonna go getter. You're going to get shit done. You're following your dreams, your ambitions, your passions. Okay? You're... She's going to get this shit done to bring these ideas to life. The Queen of Wands is the energy you want to be in when you are in get passionate about getting something done. Okay? That's you want to be in the Queen of Wands energy. Mhm. Mm That's right. She's the creative one. And this person sitting here, you're just you're just working, okay? Doing what you do. Med meditating, staying close with spirit, keeping your third eye open, especially keeping it all, uh, an eye on this motherfucker right here. But yeah, this person is casting and then watching and waiting, waiting for it to see if it's going to work. <laughs> and then when it doesn't, it, they're like this. They just keep seeing you grow and grow. Love always wins over hate. Love always prevails. Love always prevails, yeah. Yep, you're very clear on what it is that you're doing. You're receiving your messages from spirit, and you're doing your research, okay? Highly intelligent. Getting messages directly from spirit. And like I said, a new star popped up in the sky. Standing in your masculine energy. Let's see. I want to grab. Hmm. Yep, yeah, let's see what's brewing. Well, let's see what's brewing. We're going to see what this karmic is up to, and then we'll get back into what what y'all actually be got going on here. Because what you, what you have going on, this person is literally trying to sabotage it. I keep hearing saboteur. You just keep doing what you're doing. Okay? Don't change your, don't, don't change your energy. Just... Ignore, block, cancel, delete, wipe your hands clean, keep your energy high, and you're going to have nothing to worry about. Yeah, look, be careful. Salt and sugar look the same. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, if this person tries to get back in contact with you, I would not respond. Don't do it. Listen to your intuition. They're just going to try and get in and sabotage from the inside. Yeah, look, told you this person wasn't what, who they said they are. This person is a great actor and puts on a show. And people believe this person that what they're saying is true. But uh, they, this person is an actor, okay? This person could be pretending that they are in this energy right here. That they're so happy and they're intuitive. But, uh... This is, this is what's actually behind, okay? They portray themselves as this, in, this kind of energy, but this is what it actually is. And the world is going to see that because this person is so set on taking you down. They'll take themselves down too. But in the end, they're only going to end up taking themselves down.
they did it to themselves. And and that'll still be your fault. They're, you know, because people in this energy never accept accountability for their own behavior. It's always somebody else's fault. Perpetually unhappy. Let's get a couple more. Yeah, look. Boom. Toxic poison. Spoiled rotten brat. This person wants all the attention. All of the attention on them. They don't care how they have to get the attention, even if they have to be in this energy right here. They just want attention. I hate nothing about you. Yeah, look, it landed right on the devil. I'm telling you, it's toxic family. It's toxic family. And this is a motherfucking lie. Thank you for the confirmation because this devil landed on top of the Ten of Cups and then this family time landed right on top of that. Toxic family member. Ooh. This person better calm the fuck down. Someone gonna have to come lay down the law. Either this is earthly law and the police will have to get involved. Or this is that spiritual justice. Spirit laying down the law and setting this person down. Look at this. Look at that shit. This person's a copycat, two faced. And they have a drug problem. This person's messed up on something. It keeps coming out. Or, oh, yeah. This could be what they're saying about you. Which, when people do that, it's literally 100% a projection of themselves. Especially when they know it's not true. And look at this. Falling apart. Okay? This person's fake as fuck. Fake as a Barbie. Plastic. Not real. And it's game over. Game over. It's game over. Told you. They done did it to themselves. They did. You left the situation. You ran it. You, you couldn't get out of there fucking fast enough. Okay. Now this person's all up in their feels because they don't know they fucked up. Uh, could be, like I'm, I'm telling you, could be something going on online. But uh, this person's stressed now. And now this now they're trying to keep secrets. This bugaboo needs some anger management. She, this person's bugging the fuck out. Ooh, they could have friends involved. This person is your worst nightmare. Look at that shit. Look at that scary ass beach. This is what's hiding underneath. This person is, to, I'm telling you, this person is portraying to the world that they're in this energy, but this is what it really is. And it's because... This person is deeply disturbed. Deeply disturbed. If you're willing to take yourself down just to stop somebody else, that's deeply disturbed. This person doesn't realize that there's enough for everybody. Yeah, look, there you are. Born to shine. Told you. 
a new star popped up. Person's a hater. Told you, this is your hater. Brainstorming, caution, fulfilling a fantasy, and then destroyed. They're, they're destroying themselves. And you're just riding it out, riding the wave. You've dealt with this person before. And you have been dealing with them for a long time. You know the game. You know how this goes. And so they done fucked up their entire life. And you're just riding the wave out, baby. Where are you riding the wave out to? Treasure Island. All right. Wow. Yeah, this hater's definitely got some beef, but they're just don't even worry about it. Keep it over here. Keep it over here because uh, this person is going to hang themselves. They might already know that. <laughs> okay. Then my spiritual justice might have already stepped in on this person. And tower moments are beginning to happen. If it ain't happened yet, it will be soon. Because spirit says game over. You're toxic and you're fake. Game over. I'm just going to put that right on top, right on top of all this gross karmic energy. Game over. All this shit right here, it's over. You done hung yourself because a new, a new star popped up in the sky. And this person got completely greedy and jealous because... What they worked, it took them a long time to get where they were. And then this per, this new star popped up and accomplished what this person did in a couple of years in a matter of days. And that set this person off. Ooh, set this person off. All you did was just follow your heart. Okay, you're being led by spirit. You have a gift. Okay. Let's see. What are we at? 43? Yeah. Let's get some money deck. Let's get some money deck. And then we'll get some advice. I want to get a couple, couple money decks out. Because I want to make sure, you know, I want to make sure that you guys are, you know, doing what you need to be doing. But right now, this person really is doing everything they did, or they did. I, they could still be. What I think is happening now is that they've done a bunch of damage, damage, okay? And now they just watching. And what's going to happen is they're going to watch their own world crumble. They are. Okay, here we go. Messages for my collective spirit. Yeah. Say yes to the things that you can't do. Can't is never a word. Okay. Embrace the unknown. Yeah, look, investment. Investing in yourself. Oop. Throwing it around. Finances are looking good and growing. This is a great time to invest. Set a strong foundation and you will see the fruits of your labor. That's right. We have arguments. Be on guard with who you deal with in terms of any money-related matters. Make sure everything is in order to avoid monetary problems. There could be some financial disputes. I think that this is involving this person right here. Trying to kick up some kind of some kind of problem for you. Just don't even, just don't, just don't pay no mind to it. Just don't pay no mind. Voice. Get your message heard and get noticed. You have much to share with the world. Consider careers in radio, public relations, or anything in communication. 
The only thing holding you back is your inability to speak your truth. I'm telling you guys, use your voice. Speak your truth. Get yourself out there. Say yes. Say yes. Okay. There's there's people out there that need to hear what you have to say. There is. Yeah, look. We we have this is a tower card. Okay. Unexpected. Prepare for unexpected loss. And it's all going to be about for this person. But this is just telling you to expect it. This person is definitely going to do anything they can to take you down. Deal with things head on and try to prepare for the unexpected before it happens. Okay? We also have motivator. Look, we have voice and motivator. There is a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. Consider a career in coaching, speaking, lobbying, activi activism, or mentoring. You may be in need of motivation yourself or needing inspiration. Uh, yes, you guys definitely, definitely got something on your mind. Okay, definitely do. We have laborer. Okay, hard work. It takes a lot of hard work. Uh, your dependable, loyal na in nature will be rewarded soon. Keep at it. Keep at it. Takes a lot of hard work. Trust in the universe. Okay, this card came out yesterday. The universe is asking you to trust that your needs will be met. There is a spiritual reason why you're experiencing this cycle. This is a good time to connect with your spirit guides. Okay, here it is again. Double confirmation. And then, this card didn't come out yesterday, but the message is here. Work hard in silence. Okay, move in silence, guys. Move in silence. Move in silence. Because you got somebody watching your fucking ass. Closely. Look how close they're trying to see into your world. They've got a peephole. They do. And they can see. Looks like somebody's peeping through a peephole to me. Charity. See where you can give more of yourself to help others and make a difference. That's what this is all about. Helping people. You Transmuting what you have been through into a lesson. And if you can make, make it lucrative, what you're doing, what else could you ask for? Humanitarian work, human rights, justice, or advocacy work could be right for you. Look, we have the justice card out here. Hmm. The rebel. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. You're a trailblazer. Meant to see things differently and set a new path for others. Your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way. An old belief about money could pre be preventing you from getting ahead. Right. That old belief system about work hard, uh, you, you got to work hard, work, 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 work. No. Work smarter, not harder. All right. There's better ways. It's 2022. There are so many better ways uh, to make money than going out there and busting your hump and grinding your dick off to fucking make peanuts. Okay? You're a trailblazer. You're 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 setting a whole nother you're a trendsetter. Like you're you're bla you're blazing a whole nother path. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, look. We have retail. You're going to be selling your art. Whatever whatever it is that you're going to be doing, selling your art, uh, making money, selling your product. I mean, whatever this is, okay? And look, there's that envy. This person just sitting here watching. Envious, jealous, because they can't do anything to stop you. Others could be envying your success. Be careful who you trust with money matters. That's right. It's this person right here. You're exploring your destiny. Okay. And then look what's in store. 
a gift. You have natural talents, gifts, and abilities just waiting to be discovered. Explore them. Explorer is right here. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. Embrace the wisdom of the unknown because the angels are here. They're still here. They're here. They're guiding the collective. They are here for you. Call upon them and then thank them. Let's get some of these. Let's get the hustle. Let's get some hustle, hustle. Yeah, don't half-ass shit. Give 100 110%, right? All Give it your work. Give it your effort. Leadership, there's your emperor energy. Not meant to take orders from no one, okay? The rebel, that's fucking right. I'm in that energy. I'm not working for no one no more. Uh-uh, I'm done. I'm done. Don't go broke trying to show off. Okay, stay within your means. Stay within your means. Messages for my collective. What's this? Yeah, take your time. Okay. Take your time. Go slow. Think it through. Go over the details. Plan. Take notes. Write an outline. Make a plan. Good things take time. Keep hustling. Don't give up. See that money rain? Making it rain. Windfall of money is coming your way. Look at that. I just said making it rain. Dude, I'm telling you, I know what I'm feeling. And the shit just roll out my mouth. Okay. Be smart with your money. Don't overspend. Stay within your means. Put them ideas to work. That's right. Your ideas can be made lucrative. They can. They can. They can. Even if it's just a side hustle and you have something that you like to do, put a, put a camera tripod up and, you know, videotape it. Video it. It's time for a career change. That's right. Take thing, time to take things to the next level. Mm -hmm. I'm picking up entrepreneurship here. Bossing up. I picked that up here. Bossing up. Yeah. We got a lawsuit here. That could be something coming your way from this person. Yeah, because they're greedy. Look. Look at that shit. Greedy. All they want is money. That career is waiting on you. But yeah, this is for this. This ain't for them. This is for you. This is your destiny, not theirs. They're going to do whatever they can to get a chunk of it. Let me tell you, it's not going to work. Don't be afraid to fail. Okay, get up and try again. Get up and try again. Motivating others to succeed. That's right, using your voice. Motivator, voice. Entertainer, it's been coming out. Artist, perfect timing. Everything coming in at the perfect time. It's all in divine timing, guys. It really is. It's coming in. Oh, it's coming in. Look, there's moving silence again. Can't make this shit up. Stay quiet. Keep your plans to yourself. And then that's when the new star pops up. Okay. You move in silence and then all of a sudden, boom, there's a new star in the sky. Okay. Stay diligent. Move in silence. This person did not expect, is, is not, is not, is not, didn't expect this from you. And because this is their energy, 
love outshines and it's it's literally eating them alive look luck is on your side you're gonna be just fine this person's trying to put cast money blocks on you but you've got luck on your side you are gonna be just fine just fine this is what's going to come back to this person. They're going to lose it. Everything they're trying to stop for you, they are going to end up losing. Yeah, look. Wealthy woman. Rich bitch hustler provider. What did I say? Standing in your emperor energy. If you're a single woman and you're providing for your children all by yourself and you holding it down, you're a fucking emperor. You're the boss. Okay, bossing it up. Rich bitch. Provider. This is the perfect time to invest. Spirit says. Look. Because you have a divine blessing. A gift from the universe. Use your skills to create. Get off your ass and get shit done. Money moves. Make it time to make your money moves. Okay. Dust it off and try again if you fail. Don't be afraid to fail. Get up. You're going to make mistakes. That is okay. That is okay. That is okay. That's how we learn, guys, is to is to make mistakes and, and fall. So, last time I did a money read, I forgot I had this. This monstrosity of a deck. But it's got some really good information in it. So, I want to go ahead and pull a couple. Look at this. Bottom of the deck. Independent contractors. The important thing about, let me see. The important thing about outsourcing or global sourcing is that it becomes a very powerful tool to leverage talent, improve productivity, and reduce work cycles. You get to do what you want on your terms. Okay? You don't have somebody telling you what you what to be doing and when. You know? You get to do it on your own terms. What's this? Yeah, well, independent contractors and employee happiness. Okay, you're happy working by yourself. Clients do not come first. Employees come first. If you take care of your employees, they will take care of your clients. And that's fucking right. And so, if you have a boss that's treating you like shit and you're ready to break free and go do something on your own, Okay, some people don't understand that. You got to take care of your employees. So if you start a business, you make sure that you take okay, you take care of your employees and they're going to take care of your business. They will. If you treat your employees well, they're going to stick around and they're going to take care of your business. Yeah, look, we have competition right here. This person is in competition with you. They saw you as a threat. I picked that up. You can't look at the competition and say you're going to do it better. You have to look at the competition and say you're going to do it differently. And that's right. That's what this person doesn't understand. If you and this person do the same thing, you have completely different styles. They're nothing alike. You may do the same thing, but it's really different. There's no competition here. What else? Okay, we have social media marketing. Okay, get yourself out there. Get yourself online. It's 2022. Build it and they will come. Only works in the movies. Social media is a build it, nurture it, engage them, and they may come and stay. Right? Like here, like this NLS Soul Tribe we got going on. Okay, I started something. I built it. I nurtured it. I engaged and now you guys might stay with me. And a lot of you are. That's how that goes. Building relationships with people. Look, there's relationship database right there. These days, many of us are increasingly finding that we can't keep track of the people we know and new people we meet. Cognitive neuroscience says we should externalize information in order to clear the mind. Building relationships with people. 
personal relationships with people, even if it is online. Okay. And then we have selling, selling of a product. Okay. Always start your presentation with an understanding of the customer's needs. That's right. That's right. Compliment them early. Get them to share and take notes. Present simple, easy to grasp ideas. Engage strong emotion at the beginning and end. Clearly distinguish your unique selling points from the competition. Use memorable, exciting videos, images over facts and figures. Share success stories about some similar customers. Okay, provide options. Close when they seem ready. If they don't, if because they're not going to try and close, right? So this is all about interacting and getting yourself out there with people, helping people, using what you know and transmuting it into something that somebody can relate to and learn from. Acquisition. Look, yeah. Ooh, I'm hearing trademark. We have a trademark here. You might get trademarked. Every trademark you build adds to the financial value of your business much more than your tangible assets. Protecting what protecting your work. Trademarks identify the brand owner of a product or service. Registering one product Oh, registering one protects you from getting copied, though in many countries, an unregistered trademark or surface mark, service mark is still defensible in certain jurisdictions, okay? So get watermarks, trademarks, copyrights, whatever the fuck it is that you got to do, because you definitely got someone around. And we, oh, we did see that copycat card. It did come out. It's here. Get your watermarks, get your trademarks, okay? Protect your work, protect your work. Amp up, amp it up on the protection there, okay? Do what you gotta do to make it yours. I put my name right there and I have a watermark at the corner of the video, okay? I don't, do what you have to do. Do what you gotta do so people can't steal your work. Yep. Okay, guys, let's get some advice from Spirit and then we'll close. Those are fun. I like these. These are, this is called, uh, what is it called? I think it's called the success deck. Let me get the box. Yeah, it's just called success cards. I found it on Etsy. Um, 101 prompts to plan, manage, and grow your business. But they work great for these kind of situations. I totally forgot I had them until I was organizing my things a little bit and I found them and I was like, oh, they were dropped. They were like in the back of my shelf. It's a massive deck though. Like it's not easy to handle. So now that I am a little, I mean, it's not it's not big, too big card wise, but the stack is like this. And the cards are like, they are, they're like card stock. These ones are way thinner. Okay, here we go. Messages from Spirit. Forgive. Yeah. Set yourself free. That's the only way that you're going to be able to cut the ties with this person is to forgive them for your own sake. Forgiveness is a powerful act of self-love. Forgive yourself and others. This transformative release will unburden and heal your heart. So no matter what this person has done, forgive them silently. Okay, You don't need to actually verbally forgive this person. You can forgive this person in the eyes of spirit and heal. You will be rewarded for that. That takes strength. Okay, cuz when person when a person comes at you with this kind of energy, it you know, it's hurtful. It is. And it can be hard to forgive that. But in order to heal your own heart, you have to forgive them for what they know not. 
okay? You deserve goodness. Know your worth. You are worthy of love and blessings. It is your birthright, no matter what the fuck this person thinks. Regardless of your belief, grace and guidance and gifts created for you. Await your open heart. Keep your heart open, okay? Keep your heart open. You're bossing the fuck up. You're leveling up. Keep your energy high. You're doing a great job. You are. Desire. Fulfillment is possible. Consider what you think you are seeking. Will this fulfill your soul's yearnings or only satisfy a temporary desire? Prioritize what's, hap what's important in your life. Okay, This person succumbed to the temptation of greed. Okay, they did. And they're going to pay for that. You need to decide what's worth your time. And this person is not. At all. Don't give them the time of day. Don't feed this person any energy. It's an energy vampire. Yeah, follow your intuition. Look, you're using your intuition and you're keeping a close eye on that motherfucker. Half of intuition is listening. The other half is acting. If you have asked, you will receive an answer. It is time to listen to and follow your guidance. That's right. Sometimes to act is to not act. All right. Keep that in mind, especially when it comes to people like this. Yeah. Trust in universal wisdom and just let it be. Let it be. Just let it be. There's more to this situation than meets the eye. That's right. There's things going on behind the scenes collective that you don't know about. Set aside the need to know and control the outcome. You may be surprised by what happens. Yeah, you're going to be surprised by what happens because you're going to find out that this person done hung themselves. Ease and flow. Go with the flow. Accept it. Get comfortable with the change. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, keep your eye out. I'm going to be working on Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Healing Journey reads, okay? So keep your eye out. I'm super excited to use these cards. Um, I've been waiting. I, I, they got here fast. I ordered them, and they were here in like three days. So I'm excited. Okay. Uh, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can send me an email at thenorthernlightseer at gmail.com. Information is in the about section of this channel. Having trouble figuring out how to get it to stick in my description box. Um, I did it on my laptop, but it won't go from my phone. So I think I got to mess with it from the studio creator in the phone. Uh, anyways, um, check the description box for information. And I will catch you guys next time. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Peace, love, and light.